Hi, my name's Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. I'm going to show you how to multiply mixed fractions. Now the first thing we want to do is put our mixed fractions on the board. So I'm going to do that now. We have one and two fifths multiplied by three and two thirds. Okay, so the easiest way to multiply <clears throat> these particular fractions is to convert first of all these mixed fractions possibly into improper fractions, okay? So if you think about what one equals, one basically equals um, any number divided by itself. So we can change that into a fraction whereby we have a number on the top and that same number on the bottom. Now, for purposes of adding these two together, the um, integer with the fraction, we would need to look at the denominator of this fraction here. And we can see the denominator is five, so that's the number on the bottom. So we would need to compose our um, integer, which is one, as a combination of a numerator and denominator with five. So we put five divided by five plus two over five. And that's what this equals to. Now we, we're going to try to do the same thing here. Now, if you think about what three equals, three is three times one, okay? So we're going to do the same procedure, but we're going to need a factor of three on the top of our fraction, okay? So, if we take a look at um, the denominator of this fraction, we can see that it's three. So, we want three divided by three times three, okay? So this three here obviously exists because it multiplies by one to be there, and then we add two divided by three. Okay, so if we look at this, just before we close the bracket, we want to simplify what this equals. So three actually basically will simplify down to nine divided by three. So we can rub this out. And write in nine divided by three. Now it becomes a little bit more simpler from here. What we want to do now is bring together our fractions. So we've got two fractions that we can directly multiply by. So the first one that we're gonna do here is add the tops and write the same as the bottom. So if we add the tops, we've got five plus two, which is seven. And then we write the bottom to the denominator. And again, we're gonna do that with um, these two fractions. So we've got nine plus two, which is 11. And then we write the denominator. So we've got seven fifths multiplied by 11 thirds. Now that is pretty much what these two equate to. So the multiplication now is a lot more easier. So we've got seven times 11, which is 77. And we've got five times three, which is 15. Okay. Now from here, we would want to see if we can cancel anything out or possibly um, factorize. No, sorry, not factorize. Um, just basically cancel out the prime factors. So, if we think about what 77 looks like, it is basically seven times um, 11, which is its prime factors. So we obtain that from here. And if we look at these two, they're the prime factors of 15. So we can see that there's no chance of actually factorizing 
anything or cancelling down. So we have to leave it like this as an improper fraction. The only other thing that we can possibly do with this is to convert it back to a proper fraction. Now we would need to see how many times 15 goes into 77. Okay, so the ideal thing to do is to say to yourself, how many times can I multiply up 15 before it passes 77? Okay, now straight off the top of my mind, I know it's five because five times 15 equates to 75, okay? So we say that 15 goes into 77 five times and we get left with a remainder of two but that remainder of two, we still want to divide that by 15. So, when we multiply one and two fifths by three and two thirds, we arrive at the answer of five and two fifteenths. And that's pretty much how to multiply mixed fractions.